All right, in this video, we're going to run through the manual calibration of a Cub TAC instrument. Uh, the equipment we'll need, first of all, will be a Cub TAC. We will also need a cylinder of 5 ppm benzene, and we would need to have a regular regulator somewhere around about 0 0.5 litres per minute, and have that attached to a cal cup and the cal cup is supplied one brand new with every cub instrument so you should have one of those just for safety precautions in the background you'll see uh, a bench top um, air movement cleaning device here uh, you want to think about that just when you're working with benzene gas so to get started we'll concentrate on the instrument we start off with the instrument running we press the button on the top Several times it is rolling through the menu options. We stop when we see, after the temperature, we see cal. We then press and hold for one second until it beeps and then we let go. We're now seeing zero on the screen. We are in the first half of the calibration routine. We can press the button to proceed. The unit is now showing us a digital representation of the signal right now. We don't mind what the number is, but we want it to be stable. So right now, this is a very stable number. We can press the button. The instrument is now learning the calibration at this point in time. And we're on to the next stage, which is an S on the screen. The S is for span. So we'll do the same again. We will press the the button to proceed. Again, the unit shows us a digital representation of the signal. At this point, we will put the instrument to our calibration gas. So we're turning on the regulator, we are applying gas, and we see our signal starting to rise. So we might need as much as 40 seconds. 30 seconds is probably enough for everything to have stabilized and to have a steady signal. We'll keep on watching the numbers go up. And we see at the moment we're having changes of maybe four or five at a time. And we'll carry on going. Right now we're seeing changes of two or three at a time. So we're getting there. So we're seeing changes of two or three at a time. We'll keep going a few more seconds. We're really getting there now, one or two at a time. And I think we're pretty stable now, so we will press the button one time. And again, it flashes a couple of times while the instrument is learning the calibration. The screen then reminds us of the current response factor and after a couple of seconds, there we go. Here's a bump test reading. Perfect, just a little over five PPM. We're on the safe side. We can turn off the cal gas. We can remove gas from the instrument and, from the, and remove the calibration cup. We see the reading dropping nicely. And we, we are happy with our calibration. There we go, we'll leave the vi vi we will leave the video there.